संग्राम शिंदे फ्रॉम मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ के आय टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग ऑटोनॉमस कोल्हापूर टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट द थर्मल पॉवर प्लांट्स अवेलेबल इन आवर कंट्री वाय थर्मल पॉवर प्लांट वाय वी हॅव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्मल पॉवर प्लांट बिकॉज यू कॅन सी दिस इज द टोटल पॉवर जनरेशन कॅपॅसिटी यू कॅन सी वॉट इज द टोटल थर्मल पॉवर प्लांट्स विच आर अवेलेबल इट इज कोल बेस लिग्नाइट बेस गॅस थर्माईन and diesel power plant these are the uh, total thermal power plants uh, which are coming under this category then nuclear power plants are there then uh, hydel power plant and renewable energy sources so you can see on the screen what is the total capacity because i am taken from the central electricity authority this uh, whole data i am taken from this cea site it is the central electricity authority what is the total generation capacity till last month so you can see in that major capacity total capacity is the 4 lakh uh, 25000 megawatt it is the total generation capacity in our country the power which is coming from the thermal power plant it is uh, from a thermal power plant it is a coal based thermal power plant it is a coal based why it is so you can see uh, the major coal which is available in our country in the east region you can see chatisgarh orissa then uh, uttar pradesh these are the major uh, we can say state in which the coal is available and uh, we are generating the electricity by using the fuel as a coal in steam turbine power plant we are generating the steam which is going to the uh, you can see this is the basic vapor power cycle you can say, see on the screen this is the rankine cycle in which there are four major components it is the turbine boiler is there turbine is there condenser and pump these are the four major uh, components which uh, we are using in the uh, steam turbine power plant so you can see in our country that major quantity of coal is available so that we can use as a coal as a fuel in our uh, steam turbine power plant by burning the coal we are getting the steam the steam is going to the turbine where we are generating the power then it is going to the condenser and then uh, going to the pump and same water is circulated Uh, in that particular circuit so this is the vapor power cycle so these are the some uh, circuits which are uh, generally we are using in our uh, thermal power plant it is a coal storage first one very major uh, we can say issue is there we have to allocate more uh, area for the coal storage because very high quantity of coal is required to generate a steam coal washers are required because i think everyone knows what is the major issue of the thermal power plants that sulfur and ash content is more in that which is very hazardous for us so coal washers are required to remove that uh, sulfur or we can say to ash content to the low level so that this can be utilized in that particular thermal power plant and which will be uh, we can say very less polluted pollutant then coal feeders are required this is come under the coal and ash circuit then ash handling uh, Uh, devices are required because very high quantity of ash is liberated from this thermal power plant and then ash storage is required because after getting because we can say there are steam uh, generally we are circulated in the exhaust so that what is the uh, ash which is going liberated to the environment it is settled down and this ash we have to ash we have to store anywhere so again we have to allocate somewhat area to store this ash so this is the major problem we can say then this is the coal and ash circuit in which uh, id fans and uh, fd fans are required again because id fan it is the induced draft and forced drafts fans are required to circulate air because uh, we can say for the combustion purpose uh, air is required which is taken from this uh, by using this fans and uh, which is required for the combustion purpose then air filters are required because what is the air which is coming it should be uh, properly filtered then air preter is required in that why air preter is required it is one accessory we can say the air preter is the what is the air which is coming to the uh, combustion chamber it is a cold one and what is the exhaust what is the exhaust gases after the burning of the coal which is going to the environment uh, this is utilized to heat that uh, air which is coming inside the uh, that particular combustion process so when the air which is coming uh, inside the combustion chamber it is heated one then what is the uh, we can say coal required which is uh, reduced 
what is the quantity of code required it is reduced so air heater is required generally utilize or use to heat the air cool air which is coming to the uh, combustion chamber then dust collectors are required after combustion very high quantity of dust is there so it is collected at the bottom then uh, we can say uh, this is the cooling water circuit uh, on the screen this is the condenser generally there are two types we can say a uh, very high quantity of cooling water is required in the condenser this this is the major problem when we are going to introduce or install any thermal power plant then there should be very high quantity of water is available why it is because to condense about uh, 1 kg steam we should circulate about 25 to 30 kg uh, water in the condenser so if there is a river uh, uh, near to this particular steam turbine power plant there is no problem you can take the water it should be circulated in the, uh, the condenser and again after uh, condensing the steam uh, the water can be again uh, we can uh, given to that particular uh, river but if any uh, we can say there is no river or very uh, less water uh, is available in that particular location of the steam turbine power plant then we, we are using the cooling towers so cooling tower is required uh, uh, what we are doing after uh, condensing the steam the steam will be give the heat to the circulating water in the condenser this uh, heated water again cooled in the condenser uh, this uh, cooling tower and again it is coming to the uh, condenser so cooling tower generally we are using where the very less quantity of water is available and uh, if the river is there then no need of the co uh, cooling tower is required then generally this is the site selection of the uh, thermal power plant generally you can see very high quantity of area uh, is required if you are going to generate 400, uh, 400 megawatt power then about 5000 to 6000 ton of coal uh, required so very high quantity of coal is required to store this the more, more area is also required then ash disposal uh, is required in that because again we have to allocate somewhat area uh, to allocate you can see about 10 hectares of area is required per year uh, with the height of 6.5 meters for 400 megawatt power plant to store that particular ash you can see about 10 hectares area is required in that case so in that way space required for the coal storage building cooling towers switch add again nature of land should be a good uh, bearing capacity because it will be take the load of the turbine is there because continuously the vibrations are there so the robust or good bearing capacity land should be available in that location again we already discussed availability of water because water is required for the steam generation again to condense the steam so uh, more availability of the water where we are going to install any steam turbine power plant then transport facility because generally uh, in, if you see what are the power plants which are available uh, in our country uh, generally nearer to this uh, coal mines so there is no need to transport uh, this uh, particular coal but when we are installing any steam turbine power plant which is away from the uh, coal reserves or we can say mines then there should be a good transport facility like a railways because uh, by railways we can transport the uh, coal so uh, the transport facility is required in that case availability of labor so the location should be nearer to this public problems may be there because i think a good uh, uh, example of Chandrapur power plant in our Maharashtra because very high quantity of ash is liberated by this Chandrapur power plant and uh, you can see in the uh, day uh, light very high quantity of ash will be there so very less light is coming on the ground so there is a problem or the complaints coming from the society that you should shut down this uh, uh, thermal power plant because uh, very ash is contained ash is also very hazardous for our health also so these are the somewhat requirements uh, when we are going to uh, introduce any thermal power plant so this is the comparison you can see in steam turbine power plant hydraulic power plant the diesel power plant and uh, you can say uh, the the very high quantity of water is required continuously in the uh, steam turbine power plant hydraulic power plant you can see as comparison to to this very high initial cost you can see the second point in which uh, initial cost for the hydroelectric power plant is required very high as compared to the steam turbine power plant but running cost it is almost zero in the hydroelectric power plant but running cost is more 
uh, in case of uh, steam turbine power plant maintenance is required uh, daily fuel is required so running cost is very high then uh, we can say it should be rely so generally steam turbine power plant very high quantity of pollution are also there you can see as compared to the hydro hydrolytic power plant or diesel power plant very high quantity of pollution is there generally sulfur co ash these are the major problems uh, in case of steam turbine power plant as compared to this the overall efficiency you can say uh, which is a, a hydrolytic power plant is more efficient as compared to other uh, power plants uh, as compared to the nuclear power plant is there diesel power plant is there then uh, we can say space required always hydrolytic power plant is more required more space as compared to other one then maintenance cost you can see as compared to the hydrolytic power plant diesel power plant or nuclear power plant more maintenance is required in steam turbine power plants and transportation facilities are required in the steam turbine power plant as compared to the other power plants so these are the comparisons uh, in the uh, with respect to other power plants so it is the present scenario uh, that about the thermal power plant why we have to study or thermal power plant because very high quantity of uh, energy which is coming from the thermal power plants in our country but we are we should switch over we are trying our indian government is trying to switch over to the renewable energy sources uh, 